So good morning, this is Sackroll Farm and we have been doing some dry stone walling. So behind you you've got some a, a team of very lovely volunteers and this is Richard who's been leading the dry stone walling. Hello Richard. Good morning to you. So just a few questions for you really. How did you first start getting into dry stone walling? Um, when I moved to Peterborough I couldn't believe how many miles of wall there was. It was just like the Cotswolds. And I got asked to um, rebuild a wall. Well, I'd never done anything like that before. So the best way to learn is to take some walls apart, see how they're built, and then try and put them back together again. <laughs> and I've been doing it ever since. And why do you think dry stone walling is so popular over other methods of walling? Uh, it's a craft um, that's been going on for hundreds of years, and it takes a bit of organisation and a bit of skill and the end result is so much more characterful than boring old cemented <laughs> walls. And uh, what type of stone are you using today? Uh, this is limestone and uh, the Peterborough area is really famous for its stone. And uh, all the great cathedrals, uh, Peterborough, Ely, Lincoln, are all constructed of this limestone. Brilliant. Can you show us a bit of some dry stone walling please to let us know what your what you do from start to finish. Of <laughs> So what we do is build two skins, a, a rear skin and a front skin, and we try to overlap them wherever we can. So if we were going to build another layer on this, we perhaps put a stone in there so the front is tied to the back, and that's what gives the wall its strength. In the middle, we put lots and lots of little stones and these are called hearting and these have the effect of shaking down and filling all the gaps and binding the structure together and it is pretty strong Harriet so I'm going to ask you if you can move a stone in our wall okay. and we'll test how strong it is Right, I'm quite a strong person, I'm going to try and pull this now that is Harriet, you're not strong enough absolutely wedged in, there is no way that is coming out there at all So. A wall like this should be able to last for two or three hundred years, um, perfectly happily, with no maintenance, and will continue to look beautiful for all that time. It'll, it'll gather uh, plant growth. Animals love it, particularly uh, beetles, small animals that can use it for hibernating and as uh, habitat. These as a wildlife corridor as well. A, jo a jolly good little refuge for wildlife um, as well. Brilliant. So we're doing our dry stone wall. If you'd like to come and give this a go, Richard's in Saturday and Sunday today. Uh, Saturday and Sunday this week. Uh, so come along and give it a go. Thanks you'll very get, much for watching. You'll get a free sun tan as well <laughs> to the weather forecast. Even better reason to come. Thanks very much, Richard. Thanks no for your time. Worries.